Hope you are keeping well and safe in this time of pandemic. I really hope you all are keeping well and safe in this pandemic. Recently, I have published a book called Our Universe, Past, Present and Future. It is about astrophysics and the main topics are general relativity, time dilation, the solar system, stellar remnants, which are white holes, neutron stars, and black holes, and the Big Bang. This video will be covering why I wanted to write this book. So actually, when I was, I think around five-ish, I started really getting fascinated about the space. I would look into the night sky and ask myself, what are those twinkly dots in the sky? What is the distance between them and our own Earth? And how many there even are? This sparked my curiosity enough for me to start gathering a lot of books about space and start watching a lot more videos about space. From then, I gathered a lot of info and then one day in the first day of 2019, I decided that I would compile all the information I had gathered over the years into a book and then publish that book to share to disperse my knowledge among others. But why do we even want to go to space anyways? Isn't it just a waste of time and money? No. Think of it this way. When Columbus gone to the Americas all the way back in 1492, a lot of people, and I mean a lot, thought it was a big waste of money. But look, so much happened in America, the economy is bursting, and we, without America, we wouldn't have the big hand, and a bunch of satellites, and a no moon landing, and a bunch of other things, of course. Going into space would be even bigger. It might decide even whether we can go into the future or not. At this point, overpopulation is seriously becoming bad, a bad issue. And with coronavirus, millions are dying. A lot of people are dying. The only way to save there might be a situation if we don't control this fast enough with all the global warming, if we don't control the situation fast enough, then our only way out was to, would be to abandon Earth and start setting up bases of other colonies where they would be safe from the havoc of what's happening on Earth right now. And right now, the problems have not escalated too much. But they're already showing a darker side. Every new year sets a new horrible record, like the largest the ozone hole in Antarctica over Antarctica has ever been. And ozone is actually a compound which protects us from the UV rays. Without it, that would probably be very, very badly burned. If you are interested in space and astrophysics, then you can check out my book. Also, in the, if you buy this book, you are indirectly helping the poor people. Because that means that whatever money I receive from you buying this book, I have decided to donate it to either poor people, charities, or orphanages or basically people in need.